Hello, this is the Jake's Stuff channel, YouTube channel, uh, J8X. Uh, I'm Bob Jakes, and uh, the J8X is um, my clever uh, way of spelling my last name. For this, not in all stuff. Uh, that's not how I really spell it, but uh, for a while ago, I, I created stuff um, that I use the J8X um, name, logo, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is Jake's stuff, like I said. And and what I'm doing is um, I, I'm in a little window here. I'm not full screen. You know, I, you, you don't need to see me full screen uh, because I'm going to show you some uh, of my uh, stuff <laughs> over the years. Um, a family trait of ours, of my friend, my brothers, my sister is we do we like to do stuff we like to do technical stuff we like to do whatever we do we do it a lot and then we stop doing it and we do something else uh that we really get uh some people call it being consumed with it and we don't see it that way but i mean you know there's if if i want to do something um you know i will really get into it um and to explain that further you know and you know not for, not not to have you think you know i'm going to start like psychologizing myself here and um the reason why i'm having this video is is one of the things i did for a while they're pretty pretty hot and heavy was uh playing video games i still play video games to this day um uh, a lot less um uh, just because of time or whatever, but I'll, I'll keep my video games on my computer. And I actually just got an Oculus uh, Rift S. Uh, so there's that. Um, uh, so I still play games, but 15, 16, 17 years ago, uh, my brothers and I, a um, couple, three of us, got into Battlefield 1942. And... Uh, uh, the mods that were made for it, for it uh, the the desert combat and the battlefield extended uh, mods for Battlefield 1942, we, we got into it really heavily. Um, it, it was uh, it was a it was a good time for playing games uh, because that kind of the first person shooter was just uh, you know it's uh, it was just starting out to come into its own and getting a lot better and and blah 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 all of the stuff so anyways uh one thing we discovered was you could edit the levels the maps and and the mods that's the mods were the guys that the, made these new uh, maps battlefield 1942 they updated it to desert combat and stuff like that um one of the ones that um uh, uh we like to play was the desert combat extended and uh a uh, couple of maps there we really liked. Uh, we we liked in Battlefield 1942 and Desert Combat. We liked the Gazala and the El Alamein and the other ones like that. Uh, but one of the levels that we uh, we got into was No Fly Zone on Desert Combat Extended. Um, we had played the other levels, and you know DC Extended was was new um, and the no fly zone when we first went into it uh it absolutely just killed our video and it, it was just like it was a slideshow because our computers weren't quite they're pretty good at the time uh but they weren't quite up to that uh and then if you don't know uh the no fly zone was a big map uh lots of jets lots of dog fighting and ground ground fighting too um uh, yeah, so so we immediately, of course, updated our computers uh, to be able to play that, uh, buying video cards and new CPUs and stuff like that. Um, there was a another map that uh, I actually more or less got into was uh, uh, Tally Abu Day here. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to talk to you about um i'm gonna put up the screen um i made on the battlefield 2 engine uh because i started playing battlefield 2 after that when it came out in 2005 um 
I started playing that and I, it had an editor as well. So I started, uh, I started making maps for Battlefield 2 and the mods, the Decon and Decon X mods for that. So that's basically what this is about. I'm going to show you what I did to make the map the, um, for this, my homage to Tally Abu Deher. I am sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Um, I, I don't know if, if that original uh, name, if Tally Abu Deher is a real place in the Middle East. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just know it was the map. I enjoyed playing it. So I recreated it in the Battlefield 2 engine, the mod for Decon X. Um, I was working on this back in 2007, 2008, uh, amongst other uh, mods and maps that I'll go into a little bit here. But, but like I said, this is what this is about. And it is not necessarily, necessarily a tutorial, um, but it's just... Uh, it's just to, to show you what I've done and you know uh, this I'm making this video in April of 2020 uh, if this video is around a while um, but I plan on putting it up on YouTube on my channel Jake's stuff um, but uh, what got me thinking about doing that is um, well obviously this 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 time around this time a lot of us are having to stay inside uh, social distancing is the new term uh, that we're, you know, most of us are abiding by. We're staying away from each other. Um, and at that time, obviously, you pull up. I pulled out my video games. Um, I've always had my video games on my computers, um, but I, I haven't played them much. Um, and I recently I pulled this one out, this level that I was working on, and DC Extended. Um, and played a little bit more and I pulled out this level and I started editing it more. I started fixing up stuff and and I'll show you uh, in a second here. But just to explain that, um, uh, that yeah, I started working on it again. Um, what I want to do first though is I'm going to take all this stuff off here. Oh, <laughs> not going to take me off. Uh, take off this screen here. And what I'm going to do is is the original version DC extended version uh, of Tally Abu Deher. Um, it was uh, it was made by uh, a guy named Patrick Havens, and the reason why I know who that is, uh, maybe it says you know on the description or something like that. Um, but Patrick Havens actually, well, I actually posted a video of you know like five years ago of me when I started playing it again. Um, of my level and he left a comment he says as the original uh, guy who made this map nice job you know that that was awesome I mean he, he said you know that uh, he made it he made this this map um, so this is this was his map this this is a fly-in obviously I'm flying a helicopter um, uh, to one of the flags, the, the village in uh, this level, Tally Abadeh. I, I, I'm assuming that this village is Tally Abu Deher. Um, I don't know that for sure. Um, but I would assume that because this is a big map, you know, full size of what you could make at, you know, at the time of these uh, first person shooters. Um, but uh, let me go to the next one. Uh, there's this big village uh, in the middle of this, and I'm going to show you the rest of the, the, the rest of the, the map that I that I made. But but the you know the two of the things that give you an idea about this original, if you haven't played it, if there are people you know who watch my video. Uh, thank you, by the way. Um, but if you are watching it and you have made maps and you have done this or that, it's awesome. Um, if you've played this level, even more awesome. Um, but there, there are reasons why I enjoyed this map. And one of them is right, like right here. I climb up in the wall, and you could see, you know, with a sniper rifle, and you could pick people off. Well, to be more specific. Um, 
if you're this and they had co-op play they had bots they had fake army men that you could play if you don't know what it is uh, there are fake army men bots that you could play in co-op um and i'm gonna actually i'm gonna go there once again uh you could play against co-op players uh and you could sitting up in the wall there you know amongst all the other stuff the other ways you could play it there's not nearly you know this is not nearly just the way you could play but uh, one of the things I enjoyed, this is why I did this, was was in 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 co-op play against bots. I could go up in this wall here. If I was bored and I just wanted to do something and still play the game, I'd come up here and I'd pick off the bots because they were, you know, they were programmed to walk over this hill and try to take this flag. If uh, if the uh, mech or the whatever the Middle Eastern forces, you know, have this flag. You know, and you know, you could you could pick them off. This is one of the things that was fun. One of the many things. If you were playing real against real real other people on the internet, you know, you couldn't sit up here and do this for very long. You could maybe for a little while, but somebody would obviously catch on. Um, so yeah, and then, and then we'd kill you, you know, and you would be a a camper and all of the other bad stuff that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, but it's just one of the things I loved to do when I was in co-op. And there's other bases that you could do, the other flags that you could do that. Okay, so Battlefield 2 Editor. I'm going to go into that. Uh, this is what I use to make my, my version of the map. Um, and to explain, uh, one of the things I'm actually working on, just to show you, is stuff like, see the sidewalks are glitching and stuff like that. It's one of the things I'm working on. It's, you know, since I've been updating it and stuff like that. I've reworked the the shadows, uh, you know, did a higher resolution version of the shadows, stuff like that. That's what I've been doing lately. But anyways, so this is that village in, in the main map. I'm going to show you the rest of the map here um, as I explain what I did. Um, uh, this is the U.S. base, the main U.S. base here uh, in the in the jets and i didn't go actually i didn't go into, i just have like a tens uh you can have a few of them you can um um but i didn't want there to be a big focus on jets and our dog fighting there's a bit you have like i said you have the a tens warthogs um because the original map didn't do it either and that was good you have your helicopters and if you go up to the other side the um uh, up here to the mech slash uh i actually i think i use the iraqi flag here but the mech base um it has let's say su-25 it's this it's the counterpoint to the uh, a-10 warthog and some helicopters attack helicopters here and transport helicopters stuff like that but so that's so that's the reason why i didn't want i didn't want dog fighting to be a big thing here um uh, I wanted more of it, uh, helicopter and ground battles. And th the original version, uh, the DC extended version, uh, Patrick Haven's version, um, you know, you can do lots of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so then here's another base and, and the, the way the game worked out was, uh, there was, and I'm actually be getting reacquainted with my level and DC Extended um, because it's amazing how much you can forget over 15 years. Um, and if you just play it sporadically, um, uh, this is one of the bases. It's it's supposed to be owned by the U.S. forces so that if, if the mech Iraqi forces, um, Middle Eastern forces take control of it, your points go down quicker. I believe I remember something about that. And I, a DC extended version was like that. So I, you know, I wanted to do that too. But uh, this is, these are the docks. And you can, you know, you, I I put here. Hopefully you're hearing the sound. Actually, let me go back in to the editor. And I'm going to turn up the audio. Um, so you can hear. Hopefully you can hear like the background noises and stuff like that are. Uh, if you don't know, the green circles means that I put in some sort of sound effect, sound loop or background noise. And there's the, there's the center of it. And this is like a warehouse echoey sound, I believe I put it. Yeah, 
Um, so yes, this is one of the bases, and you have a few have a big mountain base here. It was in the DC extended version, and I recreated it here. Um, and I'm going to tell you, no, oh, you hear some background noise there. I, I'm going to tell you a bit about how I did it without this being a uh, tutorial. But 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 the reason why I want to tell you about it was because when you make a map, especially if you make an homage. Uh, to somebody else's map, uh, you obviously don't own, you know, they own the assets to it, you know, and this is Battlefield, this is a Battlefield 2 engine, I used all the stuff from Battlefield 2, the assets, the buildings, the planes, the cars, a lot of the stuff, obviously you can't, you, I didn't want to try moving the buildings over, I, you know, obviously the vehicles, I didn't need to move the vehicles over, uh, but that's just the point is, it, it was immensely important back then that you just didn't take stuff from one game and use it in another game and then call that game yours you know uh you you couldn't do that you can't do that to this day and even though that battlefield 2 and battlefield 1942 were ea games property the stuff in the dc extended uh version is the dc extended property um, and the reason why I'm explaining all that to you is one thing I did want to get from that level, the DC extended version, was this terrain. I wanted the terrain. Um, and uh, just to explain a little bit about it, when you make terrain, in a it was the same in DC extended uh, and Battlefield 2 or whatever. If you make terrain... Um, you shape the land or you do whatever um, you create a file it's a height map file it's called and it's basically as you do it as you work on it you excuse me, you create a picture of what the terrain is like um, basically it's the higher terrain is lighter color white gray whatever and the lower the lower terrain is uh, it goes it gets darker so it's lighter to dark and obviously something like a river is pretty much black so what i wanted that's what i wanted i wanted to know where the rivers were because the other way you could play this game was taking a boat down the river and then sneak attacking somebody so i want to know where the rivers were i could i could create something you know that was more or less like it you know it's basically kind of a flat terrain stuff like that that wasn't the issue. I wanted to know where the rivers were. So what I did was, what I did was, um, I didn't take the height map from uh, that game and put in this one, um, because the, <laughs> another reason why is that it never works out. You can't. It, it, you can, and maybe somebody will make a comment and say, "No, what I did was this." Blah blah blah. Um, you can take a height map and adjust it uh, and put it from one into the other, you know, however that's done. What I did was, um, having made maps, you know, a few maps before that, what I did was I basically took a picture of the height map. I, I took a screenshot of the height map and then I imported it. I put it through, you know, uh, 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 photo editing programs, Photoshop, and then and I put it into this level. And it was a mess. Uh, because it wasn't exactly the same. It wasn't, you know, just because you can import it, whatever. It was close, uh, but the the height and everything was off from the DC extended version, which was fine by me. It was fine. I really just want to know where the the rivers were. Um, so that's I'm. I think I'm basically answering a question that really hasn't been asked. You know, it has not been asked. Uh, in quite a while because obviously this was 15 years ago uh if it really mattered um intellectual property does matter uh but the way you get if you want to make a map and you say hmm i want to do it this way and this was my way um and i and i and i imported it and it, i had an exaggerated version of the rivers so i had to go in and i had to shape the land uh, to what I thought it was in the original version. Um, and I got it. I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Um, 
what do you hear? A little bit of, yeah, the background, the background noise. Um, <clears throat> uh, so anyways, um, I, I went in and I had to fix, correct, and or create new things. There's stuff that I wanted in this level, you know, like this used to go around the corner. I wanted it to be um, this, this level. I wanted it to be like after, a few years after the XDC extended version and they did things differently. You know, um, you gotta, yeah, and also understand the, the mentality of, of map making back then. I, I wanted to be some sort of continuity. So this was a hill here. I took down the hill and I made the road went around a corner and it made it straight like they upgraded the road or something. And these, this building down here was probably destroyed in a war, the battle. And I showed it that it's in Battlefield 2. You have you have uh, construction sites that you can create. So I put that in there. Um, uh, yeah. So like I said, I shaped all of this this uh, landscape uh, and the shores or whatever the terrain to fix it and or make new stuff. There's some and there's some some here is just obviously. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense, but that's 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 more or less what it looked like when I imported it in here. Um, yeah, so so I did that. I reshaped the train and I changed um, a whole lot of stuff, obviously, because I had to. Um, and in in you know fixing it, I created you know areas that were a little bit better planned out as far as. Uh, uh, what I want to do with this little area back here or not and I don't want to get specific about stuff that if you haven't played the game or you're not really familiar with it um, it doesn't really matter um, but if you are watching this video and you used to like I said if you used to play this level in DC extended it used to if you used to play battlefield 2 levels and battlefield 1942 levels um, and you know about you know about modding and stuff like that um, this is right up your alley. Uh, uh, anyway, so yeah, so I created this level in Battlefield, uh, Battlefield Two, DC Decon X was the the mod, um, and I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna forget something, and I'm gonna try to not forget stuff like well, one of the things, one of the things I did take. Um, and I'm proud I did from DC extended was this loop here. This is what I took. This is what I took from uh, DC extended. Um, I took that MP3 or whatever it was, the sound file, um, uh, because, uh, it was rather obviously haunting in sort of a way. <laughs> um, but I, I, uh, if you go near some buildings or whatever, uh, you hear that music in the background, um, and I it, I associated it with. Uh, I would look forward I, in a weird way. You look forward to hearing it when you're walking down the street. Um, you know, uh, and you hear that music. And I took it. And I don't. I I I don't know if it is. If somebody actually was watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I don't know who owns that song. DC Extended had it in that level. Um, I don't know who owns uh, that song. Uh, I'm imagining uh, that they found that MP3 of this of of that song, and then they put it in the put it in the level. Uh, maybe it was purchased. Um, but I'm just saying that that's what I used. <laughs> um, and like like I said before, uh, maybe I'm answering a question that doesn't. It doesn't even matter at this point, 15 years later. Um, I don't have any plans or never did have any plans on selling this or whatever. The idea was to play this on a server someplace. Um, but that, uh, that didn't seem to happen, you know, because new games come out and, and uh, you know, the interest changes to other things. I do want to change it up here though. Uh, uh, there's a bit of an edit here just to, uh, just to change, change gears, uh, from the, from the editor. Um, and I'm going to put up, uh, I want to put up the 
flyover, basically I just I hop in a helicopter and uh, I fly to that village. Um, You see the the glitching of the of the pad there, and this, some of the stuff I'm starting to try to take care of. Um, try to tie everything together, finish it up, and I think I did say before that I I've reworked the the shadowing and and trying to uh, get rid of some of that. The, I hated, I absolutely hated, hated, hated. Uh, if you can't tell, I hated it in Battlefield 2, the engine where the terrain would change as you fly near it because whatever it would optimize or it would change the the textures you know uh, for higher resolution as you get closer but the t it's just the terrain would change and it um, it was just it was annoying um, so I try to make it so it would do less of that um, by smoothing out some of the textures and fixing this bridge here to the left, if you're watching, was a source of a um, lot of a um, lot of fixing, I'm trying to get that right, uh, so it would be less um, terrain glitching and, and stuff like that. You see, as we fly here, there's a little bit of it. Um, you know, the problems that you you faced when you're making maps and stuff like that. It was so fun though. I had a blast. Um, so that's that's what is what you're what you're seeing now is what was in the the editor. Um, I can kill that and I can bring up. This is just this is flying over that bridge or riding in a car over that bridge. Uh, uh, a jeep, a buggy, or whatever. Driving to the to the village. Um, but yeah, it was it was a blast uh, making this and getting into learning about mapping and and uh, like I was saying before, you learn as you go. And I have done I have done other maps, uh, other levels. Um, I created I created uh, a map, uh, and that's one of the ones that I actually could. I could finish if I wanted to. Um, uh, it was, uh, I'm an Air Force brat, and for a while we were stationed at, uh, in Tripoli, Libya in the mid 60s at Wheelis Air Force Base, and I recreated, uh, wasn't, what wasn't, it's not Wheelis Air, Air Force Base now, it's Matiga Airport. This is, uh, yeah, one of the ones that I worked on too in Battlefield 2. Uh, Matiga Airport, and um, that one I might pull out of mothballs as well and work on that one. Um, uh, but I didn't. I didn't try to recreate uh, what it was like at Wheelis Air Force Base. It was it, it, everything was different. You know, obviously, you didn't have the same buildings and stuff like that. So it wasn't a matter of recreating uh, anything. You know that I remember. It was just it was making a level. I knew what that was and. It got me interested in it. Um, it actually led me to the next thing I'm going to show you is hopefully, yeah, uh, this next thing. Um, I I also uh, played the game Crisis after that when it came out in 2006, 2007, and actually with that I played, you know, I played the levels and it was fun. I mean, no, it was good, um, but it once again got me interested in making levels, making maps. I made a few things in that. I made a quasi semi, um, if you know, uh, BF 1942. I made El Alamein ish thing in there. I took you know, the, the two bases and the big desert. And um, that, uh, I don't know what happened to that one, but I mean, that I, I did stuff like that. Um, and it, well, that one, you could make buildings if you wanted to structures um, and what I did was what you want looking at here is I recreated uh, in crisis where I grew up uh, in New Hampshire the area I grew up in it was a pond and uh, this is my house now, this is a YouTube video the quality uh, the quality is not very good at all uh, uh, I'll just see that right now you can see the top that is fraps.com this is what I did it with 
uh, 15 or 14, 15 years ago. Um, yeah, so let me, I'm just going to play that here. Just some of that. And, the, and like I said, the video is not very good at all. This is, the, this is, this is the house uh, that I used to live in, in the 70s. Uh, it's a little playhouse there. Um, this is, this video is when it was about halfway done. Um, and I had gotten further than this, and it's obviously, if you don't know the area, it's really difficult to tell. Um, this is the neighbor's house. Uh, in the distance, there was, there's tons of pine trees because it's in New Hampshire. And this this shows it. It's not. It's pretty far along. But I had gotten uh, many months more <laughs> along than this. Um, and what happened with this is, you know, um, <clears throat> is what you would hate to happen. And when you learn those valuable lessons, was I it was a turtle. I uh, saved it. That we were doing. There was a move that was going to happen. So computers had to be dismantled and changed so I backed up <laughs> this level on another hard drive uh, but what it, it turns out what I saved was an earlier version not the latest version um, and I believe that version the latest version actually ended up on a on an external drive that uh, fried it toasted it died so I thought for I ne never really checked it so um, I didn't have an update version. I think it was on the fry, the, the hard drive that died. Um, so what I have left is, is not even this far. Um, it's, it's a little bit before what I'm showing here. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's, uh, that's just showing you, um, showing you some of the stuff I did for video games and like I was saying before um, with this time that we're spending more you know more of our time inside I'm pulling some gaming stuff out um, there's other stuff I want to um, I want to put on video uh, it's just not a ton of stuff but I mean uh, I I've worked on computers and there's other stuff I've done like I said I'm a Jake's. So we got our hands in a lot of things when we do something. You know, there was a being a musician in the band. Um, uh, maybe I did. I even show the the picture of uh, where I got the Jake's with the Jake's name, the J8X. I you know clever. Um, I used that for my name as a logo for two vampires that I used to make. Um, and I say used to make, but I, you know, you get so busy with things that I stopped making those just for time wise and I was playing in a band again. Um, so I made a few amplifiers and I sold a couple of amplifiers to, to people and knock on wood, knock on wood, they still have them um, and they're still working fine. Um, there's the other ones that uh, at some point um, may pull out of uh, mothballs. I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, but like I said, you move on to other things and stuff changes. You move. Um, my wife and I moved to Germany. Uh, that was a big deal. And so my brother, my brother Rick has all of the, those assets, the, the stuff that I was working on, or I stopped working on. And maybe some, you know, maybe someday he'll pick it up or not. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at this point. It's just because we do this stuff because we like to do it. So there's, there's that kind of stuff. My brother, uh, my brother Ron, he, uh, uh, he builds and modifies guitars. That's what he's doing now. Uh, so there's always something that one of us is doing. And yeah, this is the first, the first video. Uh, got my little Linus look there. Linus tech tips look there, uh, with my headphones on and stuff. Um, yeah, so this is the first thing I'm gonna do for my video was to was to post this um, for my Jake stuff channel. Um, and I was saying before, you know, um, the the computer stuff, the computer upgrades. One of the best things about this has been the fact that uh, you know when you upgrade computers, uh, make it faster and stuff like that. You play these old games, and it's 
the great part of that is, is you can play with everything maxed out, the resolution. Um, uh, it's just like butter. It's Battlefield 2. Uh, it's just amazing. It looks amazing uh, playing on upgraded computers. And, and I have a few computers that I upgraded. I, you know, this one here is the, the Ryzen 7 3800. I've got the RTX 2070, 32 gigs of RAM, blah, blah, blah. You know, that the it's a fairly up-to-date computer, and it's just absolutely like butter for the old games. And in the new games, too. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and the other thing, too, you know, like I was saying before, uh, playing a no-fly zone, one of those levels in, in Battlefield 1942 or Desert Combat, came to a screeching halt when we when I first loaded that game up um, and just I had no idea what it was just went into no fly zone and uh, just jets flying over people running around um, uh, and it just was chaos and this it's like I said it spurred us on to upgrade which we did and we, we went into that game back then with upgraded computers and it worked um, it worked great. It worked great. Um, so, anyways, so that's that's uh, what this video is about. Uh, I'm gonna post um, more videos about stuff, uh, other interests. Um, if you're interested in in watching them, great. If you are, if you were a map maker or you played these games, uh, 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 thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you're showing any, any interest in it, um, uh, thank you to the one, you know, all those years of going to the bf2editor.org, the forums there to ask questions. Um, uh, yeah, and if, if uh, thank you to um, Patrick Havens, you know, for, for doing that level uh, that got me interested in it. Uh, uh, and what make, made me want to update it. Um, and I don't know what happened with this Tally Abu Day here. I don't know what, you know, if something happens with it where somebody's interested in it um, and maybe set up a way that it could be, you know, downloaded or something like that. Um, it's kind of, it's a little bit big. So, um, so I don't know. I'm probably jumping the gun here, but thank you for anybody that was watching this video um and like i said we'll post something soon um leave me a comment um or ask a, ask a question i'll be happy to ask any questions like i said this isn't a tutorial on the do it um i just was showing you what i did so anyways we'll 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 talk to you soon